that extreme heat can really pose a health risk. So joining us this morning with advice on how to stay, stay, stay cool, our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton. And it's so important in weather like this because the minute you step out the door, you start feeling the effects. Exactly, Erica. And when the humidity is greater than 75% and the temperature is above 90, our body just cannot cool itself by means of sweating. That's our main mechanism for letting heat evaporate, and we just can't do that in this heat. So then we need to obviously be proactive, and the first and best thing to do is to hydrate. Exactly, and the key here is do not wait until you're thirsty. The second you feel thirst, you're actually already behind the eight ball. So when you wake up in the morning, you've had about eight hours, no intake of fluids, you want to start hydrating, you want to drink Drink about two to four glasses of liquid every hour that you're outside, which is about one every 15 minutes. And most importantly, you want to avoid beverages that contain alcohol, high contents of sugar or caffeine, and also very cold drinks. Not because it can further dehydrate you, but just it can give you stomach cramps. Okay, and, and those sugary drinks too, that includes things like energy drinks and, and yeah. sports Listen, drinks. Mild activity outside, water is really best. If you're working or doing heavy, strenuous exercise or activity outside, then you do want to replace okay. those electrolytes with a balanced sport beverage. Gotcha. Heat-related injuries can be a real issue that people probably don't think about. So what are some of the, th the three most common ones to look at? So for? basically, it represents a spectrum of severity, and it can start with something as mildly you know, innocuous as something like heat cramps. And basically, that's something that would affect the arm, legs. It might even give you some cramps in your belly when the heat index is above 90 degrees. And it's really the first indication that the body is starting to be compromised. And you want to treat it with basic rest inside an air-conditioned environment and again, fluids, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Can't get enough water, heat exhaustion. So this is in the moderate moderate realm now, and this would occur after day, hours or days outside working or playing in this type of heat. Most at risk, we hear this all the time, babies, children, even those at camp, and the elderly, and really the first signs are sweating, clammy skin, dizziness. You wanna act quickly at this point, Erica, to prevent it from worsening. And, and worsening could mean something like heat stroke. Actually, now this is a medical emergency, also known as sunstroke, and any Anyone who's outside is at risk. You're going to see someone whose skin is flushed. They are not going to be able to sweat, so their skin is dry, and that is a medical emergency. You want to get them to a hospital. And that's when it gets really scary. Yep. Jen, always good to have you here. You Thank bet, you. Erica.